Alright guys, so today's what, September 3rd? It's a Monday. There's been a lot of activity over the weekend, so we kind of think that the elk are kind of timber, but they're not. We just spotted a few out in the open, so... I spotted a bull. I think there's two cows. We'll glass and see if there's any uh, others with it. And then we'll try to make up a game plan and uh, see what we do. But they're kind of down in the bottom of the valley, so we'll see what they do. I don't know. It's doable though. That's where I shot my elk uh, two years ago, so I know that we could definitely get down there. But if they stay down there, then we could work it. But if they start moving, it's going to be about like an hour and a half until we get onto the other side. So we'll see. But elk spotted though. They are way down here. I think that's the same herd. Probably. Yeah, there's one better below them too, so I think that's three cows. That's one spike, I think, unless it's Probably a... I can see the antlers from here. Yeah, so... I don't know if that's a branch bow or not, but definitely doesn't look like it's in velvet. I think we have... So we have five cows and one bull. That might actually be the herd bull. He's actually pretty decent compared to what we've been seeing the past couple times we've been out here. Um, this guy, if you look at him, he actually makes the cows look small. Last time, the couple times, other times we came out here, the cows actually made the bulls look small. So this guy's definitely a lot bigger than what we've been seeing. So he's probably the herd bull. He only has six cows. I have a feeling they're going to bed down there all day. They're basically at the bottom of the canyon. And even though the sun's going to hit them, I feel like they could just kind of slowly trot off into the patch of timber that you guys see right now they could just go in there and they'll be easily uh, shaded from the sun all day uh, today's supposed to be i forgot what the temperature is but here right there that's the temperature for today today's supposed to be clear skies um, we're just gonna have to see and wait for something to happen day six once again our streak of seeing elk every single day continues those elk they're in a really really tough position for us to get down there at least uh, for elk it's a pretty smart positioning by them uh, they're basically just by cliffs so we have no idea if we're able to even like complete an elk hunt down there meaning if we do get down there we do shoot one and he runs down uh, we have no idea if we're gonna be able to retrieve the elk pack him out of that nasty stuff so we're just gonna go over there and see if there's actually a route to get down there or if the elk move up towards us. So we have no idea. We're just gonna go over there simply because we know we know the elk are over there. So fingers crossed, we're gonna walk around a couple miles and then I'll basically talk to you guys when we get there. Alright, so we made it. The elk are just down here. Or that's the last time we saw them. We have no idea if they're still there, but if they're still there, I might be able to make something happen. Fingers crossed. It took us about two hours just to get here. We went down this like two years ago to back up my elk. We went down here. Come down, try to come over the cliff, well next to a cliff. 
heat during the evening, but we're pretty far down the canyon, so we figure, you know what, we're just gonna basically try to walk right up to them while they're bedded, and if we bust them, then we bust them. If we get them, we get them. Um, that way we don't have to just sit and wait, so. We're gonna slowly go over there and see if we can arrow one while he's bedded. I have no idea if the camera does any justice, but we are basically rock climbing here. We are basically going straight up. The elk, uh, they gave the slip on us. They must have went off to the timber without us noticing, so gotta get back onto the road on top. This is gonna be fun with all these thorns. We were sleeping right next to this thing. Five, six. It's a five by six. Ooh, look at this, dude. We were sleeping right by this. So we were about like three and a half miles in and then we got the news that this area here is closed. So we're just going back to the car and then basically this is, I guess this is it. This is it for Oregon. Back to the truck, go back home. Basically, I guess I get two days to rest. I fly out tomorrow and then the day after that, I'm basically headed out to my water hole in Washington. And then we'll see if I could kill a bull there, or an elk, or a bear, anything that comes into the water hole. And then give it, whenever I tag out, or four days in, or five days in, we're going to meet up again, and then we're going to go off to Idaho. Oregon's been fun. It's, I can't say it's been disappointing. It's been a lot more than what I expected. We basically saw elk every single day, except for yesterday and today. But yesterday and today, I wouldn't even consider it a, a legit hunt, because we technically only had half days. Today's not even a half day, today's two hours into the hunt, so it's like, I don't know, a twelfth of the day. Anywho, that was a fun season. Uh, we're just going to head back to the car and then, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys over there. Why not throw one last goodbye bugle, right? And that is gonna do it for Oregon.